this is a piece that everybody needs to get. You're looking at the jet stream, this band of winds that goes around the planet in the northern hemisphere. There's, there's a similar band in the southern hemisphere. We're all used to watching the weather channel and we watch the weather go across from west to east and it is the jet stream that drives our weather, okay? This is the most hotly discussed issue in atmospheric science right now because something is happening to the jet stream. You saw how we are losing huge volumes of Arctic ice. What drives the jet stream is the difference in temperature between the cold, cold Arctic and the warm temperate zone, okay? Now we're losing the ice in the Arctic, so instead of being 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees below, 40 degrees below, you've got 32 degree ocean water and warmer in places that were formerly frozen. That driver for the jet stream, that temperature differential has become less. What we're seeing is that the jet stream flow is in effect slowing down and it's starting to meander. And these big meanders have a tendency to get stuck. Up until a few years ago, a lot of people could comfort themselves by saying climate change is something we're not gonna experience for 20 years or 50 years or 100 years. It's not something for me to worry about. But this is how it's affecting us here with this flow in the jet stream. And the example that most people can probably identify with is March of 2012. That was the year that over the eastern United States, I was in Saginaw, Michigan on March 18th, and it was 88 degrees. And it stayed that way for about two or three weeks. That was a function of the jet stream getting stuck over the United States. So just as we were having thousands and thousands of warm temperature records set here in the eastern United States, in the west, they were getting massive snowstorms, terrible cold records, and exactly the opposite kind of situation. That's an example of two kinds of extremes being caused by the same underlying mechanism. And in 2013, you may remember that we had a winter that just seemed to go on and on and on and on. It stayed cold through March. It stayed cold through April. In May, we were getting massive, massive snowstorms and blizzards in the Dakotas and Minnesota. And we had exactly the opposite kind of situation. The jet stream was stuck in kind of a southerly mode, and so we were getting Arctic air continuing to pour down on the United States over those months. I've talked to scientists across the spectrum on this. Everybody agrees that something's happening with the jet stream. There is an emerging agreement that it has something to do with the loss of Arctic ice. We're now seeing a series of weather extremes. We are in a new regime, what scientists call a new normal, and this is one reason why. So if you have noticed that weather has been different, more extreme, somewhat changed from what you remember growing up over the last few years, this is one big reason why and get used to it because it's not going away.